Hello Coloring Craze family, hope you guys are doing well. So this week's page is from uh, Color Age Wild 1 by Emmanuel Collins and we are going to see this little girl. And uh, the color palette for this page is very soft, very dainty which is totally not my uh, forte. So I wanted to really, you know, uh, push myself to do soft palettes as well. So this is the one uh, I came up with. We are going to uh, see how to do a leaf, a couple of flowers and I've also done one of the snails uh, and uh, then we will see how to do her hair and move on with the skin, eyes, lips and everything and then we'll finish up with the background. So um, I wanted to have a very muted uh, green here. So. A gray green was my choice and also the flowers I you know uh, want them to be pastel as well but uh, carry um, a contrast you know a darker shade to them as well so you will see a darker tone in the center of the flower and it is very very soft when it is uh, going outward and as usual we will start with the contour shades first and then move on to you know the midtones and highlights
for the hair uh, i wanted to have uh, a dark brown shade uh, some of the colors from the palette which we used for this nails so that it will be uh, quite a balance between all the colors so we start with uh, the dark shade uh, i mark the contours i mean wherever i want the hair to be darker i just follow how it has been illustrated so once i was done with the dark shades i move on with my mid tones and then blend in with the highlight color and uh, and then use my darkest shade you know to mark in the uh, shadows again and also the texture it's just uh, going back and forth until you're like you know quite happy with the hair and the more layers the more uh, better the result will be um so yeah so highlighting the hair is not like you know confining to a certain uh, portion like it has to be uh, like it has to be bright it or it has to be like very very light it doesn't have to be that way you can uh, go over the highlight with your midtones and and darker shades and still have the highlights showing through and that is how our natural hair is i guess so by doing this way it's going to be very natural looking and very realistic and we are going to see i um, mean uh, coloring of the hair like which are closer to her face uh, the flyaways we will do it once we are done with the background <laughs> So while I was doing her skin, I didn't realize that I didn't press the record button at all. Uh, while I was midway doing my skin, and I was just checking how is how was it how was everything going on, and then only I realized that I didn't press the record button at all. So we are going to pause here, and I'm going to show you guys how I did her skin uh, using the another using another copy of the same image from the book, which was very helpful on this note so we are going to see the initial steps uh, first and then continue from the part where we left off so well, i start with my darker tones from the outer end of her face and then move in and while i am doing it i also mark in the portions where i want her skin to be very light that will be our highlight portion and usually the high points of the face and then uh, we are going to blend it with uh, white the after we are done putting in the layers we are going to blend it, it with white so here i wanted her to have i wanted to have a more cooler tone for her skin uh, but if you want to have a warmer uh, tone you can uh, always use cream or eggshell from prisma colors if you have or use similar shades uh, from the palette uh, you guys own so it's very very lighter shade of yellow that which is what you want to use if you are going to 
do a, a warmer skin tone and then blend it in, and then blend it in that is it so you will have a warmer tone of color so i really preferred uh, her to be having a cooler tone and so i didn't use any of the yellow shades here so while i'm here i will also show you guys how i did her neck uh, because it is like fairly very very darker when we compare the face uh, because of the shadow from the face it's going to be very dark so i'll also show you guys how i did her neck and then we will just uh, uh, unpost the part where we paused and continue from there and after i was done with her skin i will also show i show you guys how i did her eyes which i wanted to do in the leaf color so that yeah so that you see the balance between her herself and the leaves and flowers on her so yeah once we are done with that uh, we will move on to the background
for the background we are going to use two shades gray and uh, hot pink from my kids ink palette and we are going to use finger sponge blender to blend in the colors uh, first we are going to use the gray uh, on the outer part of the page and then uh, come in with pink in the middle part of the page once I was done with that, I used my Posca to give in some white dots on the leaves and flowers. And I've also tried to put in a water drop on the leaf, you know, which is very, very simple to do. You ha just have to use your uh, darkest shade that you use for your leaf. And then you uh, just put uh, almost an oval and uh, use your, uh, you know, um, jelly roll, white jelly roll to mark in the highlights on both the ends. And you're pretty much done if you want more shadow you can always use a very very uh, uh, light-handed uh, black um, on the darkest uh, you know on the dark darker area of the water drop and you're done so it is very easy to do a water drop and once you're done with it you're done with the page and uh, I hope you guys liked watching this video and I hope you will give it a try if you have any doubts, please post it in the comment section below. I will try my best to help you all out. The products used here are linked in the description for your reference. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, happy coloring. Bye.